Obviously, we we kicked around the guard, but then that was one against one, and then we needed to find that little bit of uh, area, a bit bigger, where we could go with the friends. And and our little uh, breeding ground, so to speak, was um, the South East Sussex Tech, which was a local school just around the corner. Um, naturally enough, we weren't supposed to be playing on there. So um, there was the main entrance of the school was right over one side where the caretaker was. So we used to hop over the fence and play in the far corner, which was a long wall for him. And uh, so occasionally he did wander across and tell us to get off. But uh, more often than not, we saw him come in, we could hop back over the fence. So that really was where we played most of our football. And when I say most of the football, it's either three, four, five a size, whichever ever, ever many of the local lads turned up. Um, there would be anything from 10 to 30 children used to get over there at different stages. Um, and we would have our own football matches, cricket, um, when the Wimbledon tennis used to be on, we'd even be playing tennis and have our own sort of Wimbledon championships. Uh, and we'd also uh, even have our own athletics meetings around the outside. Um, that was probably the area that Trevor didn't particularly excel at, as I'm sure some of the West Ham lads would, uh, <laughs> would know why. I remember in, in the second year, I was playing in a game in the playground, one of our lunchtime breaks. And uh, I mean, at that stage, it was just you know lots of fun and you was playing around. And, and a teacher called um, you know, Mr. Clark came up and uh, and asked me my name, and I said, told him, and he said, um, I've got some football trials this afternoon for the school. Um, have you got your boots with you? Which I didn't have. So he said, well, why don't you go and get them? So I scarped all the way home and missed the start of the lessons that afternoon but got my football boots because uh, then only half hour later I was allowed to go off from the lesson to go to this football trial. Ended up going in the trials and, and ended up getting uh, in the team sort of in the second year then, which was, was great really because it meant I had three years in the school team. Yes, I mean, West Ham, you know, living in Barking was my, my nearest team and um, really my earliest recollections would have been in the, in the sort of late... 50s, which were quite an exciting time for West Ham. Well, in the early days of going to matches, um, really, you, you sort of moved around the ground, but I suppose the South Bank was, was more, more frequent. Um, when I was very young, uh, and it's occasionally, and everyone used to take, you might take little sort of car, uh, the boxes, uh, the old fruit box or, or something to stand on, because obviously you were a little bit small and you couldn't see. And then uh, even in those days, if you got there a bit late, um, the younger ones of us would be shoved down the front and yeah, come along here because you can't see there. I mean, the, the atmosphere was great, and so we'd all get all the youngsters down the front. At the end of the game, then you'd linger and meet up with your dad, uh, who'd wait behind as well, and then just leave the ground afterwards. So it was uh, always a very friendly club, good family atmosphere, and uh, always get one or two wisecracks. I think uh, you know the East End humour is uh, renowned and. Uh, so you'd have a chuckle even sometimes the game wasn't as good as you'd hoped. It was only right that Bobby Charlton should get one himself. Goal number five.